So the solar wind indicator has three different signals, a trend signal, a pullback signal, and a trend strengthening signal. Well, what if you just want to trade one of these? Let's say I want to disable the trend start and the trend pullback, and I'm just interested in trading the trend strengthening signals. So here we have just the strengthening signals printing. But what if I want to automate this in Strategy Builder and be able to backtest it with Strategy Analyzer? If there's an indicator that prints more than one signal, there will be dedicated Ninza script signals for each different condition. You can go to ninza.co and go to the solar wind indicator page, scroll down a little bit, and this is where all of the dedicated Ninza script signals will be listed. And also if you've purchased this indicator in your download zone, there's sometimes a PDF file with some information on the indicator. But here we see the code for the trend start is a one or a negative one. The code for a pullback signal is a two or a negative two. And the code for the strengthening signal is a three or a negative three. So if I go into my strategy builder, I've got my condition for entering a short here. I've selected the Ninza solar wind indicator for the value plot. I want signal trade and I want to select equals. So the signal equals a numeric value of minus three. That's the ninja script code for a strengthening signal short, negative three. And for my long set, I want to do the same thing. Solar wind value plot signal trade equals positive three, just regular three. And that's it. So now I can attach that strategy to this chart, enable it for my playback account so I can double check that it's actually catching these signals. And then we'll go back to right before one o'clock and see if it's gonna fire off these signals like it should. We got the first strengthening signal. Just activated the second strengthening signal and the third. And if you remember, we had quite a few pullback signals. We had a trend start signal there and there. Did not take any of those. It only took the trend strengthening signals. So once you have that set up, you can do back testing for just the strengthening signals or just the pullback signals. If you wanted to take just the pullback signals, you would do the same formula that we just did, but with a number two and a negative two. So just some more ways you can deep dive into all the different possibilities with these indicators. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good ideas for your own trading. Please like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content.